The rate at which children born with hydrocephalus is worrying. According to Spino Bivide and Hydrocephalus Awareness Network Uganda Senior, at least every week five new cases are reported at Mlago Hospital. And these brain tumors, they have, they have even become cancerous. That we have some of our children who are in the cancer institute, yet they have hydrocephalus. And we don't know why it is increasing. So it is a call to the medical staff, to the medical personnel, to research more why this is coming up. During a training workshop for parents with children born with a problem, parents a lot of money is required to look after these children. They, they have to put on pampers 24 7. Secondly, some of our children have got seizures. They convulse and the ant convulsants are very expensive. So you'll find that a parent who cannot afford the child, whenever this child convulses, the damage, the brain is being damaged. The children are also stigmatized in communities they live. And to see that we encourage the public and we show them that these youths, the children with disabilities, with spinal bifid and hydrocephalus, they also grow up and they become uh, very responsible people. Those parents to give them health education because this will help to change their attitudes. Because the reason why the majority of the parents hide their children is because what they know about their children is that these children are a curse to their family, but also it is because of witchcraft that they hide. They think it's because of witchcraft they are having such children. So it's up us to take information to these children. Kauma Benjamin Fortunant calls upon parents to look after their kids and educate them. People with disabilities found very many challenges, especially in accessing uh, healthy facilities, accessing even the food in the market because uh, vehicles were not working, motorcycles were also not working. So we are just requesting the government, in case they are uh, planning to put more guidelines, let at least people with the disabilities also be considered. In Uganda, over 1,400 children are born with hydrocephalus, and over 6,000 are born with spinal divot. Maureen Higa compiled the report.